Hey guys, and welcome to the video, and I hope that you are feeling awesome. Now, my new present, I can't wait to show you guys. I really wished I was able to show you it today. However, I will say one thing though. I have been literally sat indoors and put myself back into education in a sense, because this new present that I got, guys, requires me to do a bit of learning. So let's just say I've got a pad out, I've got a pen, and I'm writing down lots of notes. So guys, not only I'm learning the stuff currently right now for this present of mine, I've also learned something else today. Now, I was um, saying to Yvonne that, you know, uploading the vlog takes forever at a certain time of the day. And she said, well, why don't you try doing it like early hours in the morning? And I thought, well, I've never really tried that. And today, guys, you know, I uploaded last week's vlog and it's literally gone bang straight up there to YouTube and bang straight up to Facebook. And I'm like, wow, it proves you don't know everything about uploading. Wow, guys, I can honestly say I have done so much learning today and I've learned things that I would never have thought in a billion years that I'll have to know. Now, I am excited to say that I have passed all my learning and I am so excited that now, guys, I can now show you something absolutely awesome. Do, 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 do. Who's got their own drone now? Look at that. I can't believe, guys, I've got my own drone. And I gotta admit, I haven't taken it out for a test flight yet because two reasons. One, I wanted to pass my test and get everything officially done. And second thing is, I'm waiting on my friend to print me a sticker so I can stick on the drone. So once I have got the sticker, guys, I can't wait to take this baby out and just have a look at this, guys. Absolutely amazing, isn't it? And I can't believe I've got one in my hand. It's just absolutely amazing. I have been literally sat here for days and days and days, speaking to Yvonne, saying to her that, hey, I want to go out and get a drone. I really want it. I really want it. So, you know, let's just say I think she's had enough of me talking about it. And I've had enough, you know, wishing I had my own drone. And I've got to be honest, it's nice just to hold it, you know, and, and look at it and see it and everything. Because... I don't know, when you've been wishing for something, guys, and you finally get it in your hand, it's like, wow, that is so cool. It's like, Doof. Wow, guys, the weather today is absolutely crazy. And it looks like in certain areas it's going to, you know, pour down rain. And then in other areas, it looks like it's going to be a glorious day. Like, you know, over there we've got blue sky there. You come around here, horrible cloud. Oh. Anyways, guys, I must admit, I have had one of the most craziest, awesome shift possible. As a result of an error, I'm actually in the store for a week. So uh, I'm actually uh, kind of in a strange way going to look forward to this week because uh, it's going to be like walking over old ground so to speak because I used to be based in the store however guys I decided that today after work I wanted to go out and do a little bit of you know walking along the canal I gotta be honest guys looking at the canal is absolutely amazing for me because where I grew up in uh, Bristol there was no such thing as seeing a canal or even a train line near where I used to live now that is cute guys <laughs> well that's a lot of plants you got there dude <laughs> wow guys look at all these plants that's cute love it whoa guys we have two narrow boats going off here Afternoon. And then the second one here, guys. Guys, that was absolutely perfect timing. We managed to see two narrow boats. How cool was that? Just as I said that last clip, guys, another one going through. It's like, I like how it just glides. See that? Sweet. Hiya. Now that 
is a perfect location there guys now just imagine sitting there honestly and having this on your doorstep Wow guys, I got me some swans. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, there's three of them. Now guys, this is a garden and a half. Look at that. The detail and everything in this garden. How could it be just to step outside your back garden, walk down to the bottom, and you've got the uh, canal right on your doorstep. And just imagine also those people that live in Slitton Mill that literally have got the uh, Rising Brook literally at the end of their garden. These people, you don't know how good you got it, honestly. But anyways, I'm now going to be sort of trailing off now the canal and working my way back to Tesco's because we have got a bit of a walk to get back. So we're going to go this direction. We were just there, down in that bit down there, guys. And now we're going to make our way over this bit here, guys. This is a nice little walk, guys. And I must admit, you never know what you have on your doorstep. I only found out about this walk um, by doing a... Uh, litter pick with a few friends and colleagues from work and maybe in the future i'm hoping to do some more wow guys just look how cool of a view that is and what's the best part is if i zoom in there guys you can see that tower there that i'm circling right that one there that tower guys is literally not far from the location i do most of my uh, sunrise videos from and the location is on red brook field and uh, it's kind of strange seeing it from this angle. But oh my God, I literally just walking, walking, walking. And I looked to my left and I was like, whoa guys, that's a few and a half. I wonder guys, if I was able, oh, hang on, what's this? Oh, possibly I could uh, do a time lapse here. If I was to stay in this location, sort of in this area here, maybe. I had the camera, like, you know, facing that direction. Look at that sky. Wow. Wow, guys, just look at that beautiful sun we've got this morning. Wow. And the best part is that in the future, guys, if I've got a day off, I'm going to be sending my drone up in the air and capturing views like this, guys, because I cannot wait. One thing I forgot to mention about this morning, right? Last week, me and Yvonne came around that roundabout and we saw a rabbit in this area here, right? So today, guys, guess what I saw? I saw a duck. And I was like, okay. But anyways, I'm now off to work and uh, i got to admit, I've got a very, very short shift today. So when I get home, guys, I want to be able to catch up with lots of different things because there's a lot of uh, weeds I need to get rid of where I park the car and uh, I want to make that area look nice and pretty. I found the dog I saw earlier, guys. Oh, there's two of them. Hello. Wow. Okay. It's now the duck crossing. <laughs> I really do hope those ducks uh, find their way to uh, the local uh, water source, so to speak. Well, anyways, time to get in and time to get that shift out of the way with. Well, guys, I have made a decision today. I thought, do you know what? Not only I'm going to be sorting out the area that I told you about, I decided I'm going to literally cut both the front and the back gardens, right, and get them looking really good. Now, I was going to do a time lapse of me doing both the gardens, but unfortunately, because my next door neighbour is out doing their front garden, I can't get them in their camera. They see me rolling, they be hating. <laughs> I've got a question there for you guys. How many of you guys, once you finish doing your cutting of your grass, how many of your neighbours start doing theirs? Now people say, oh, they're copying me, oh, let's get out there and do my grass because so-and-so's done their grass, right? Have you ever thought of that they may be, they're inspiring you to get out there and do your garden? Think of it that way. Let's get this garden done. So uh, here's a picture of what this garden looked like before. 
Well guys, I must admit, I'm feeling quite positive because one, I got the garden done quite quickly and two, I can now show you because my neighbour actually finished doing their garden just after I finished doing our garden and uh, have a look at this. There you go. All nicely cut. Got rid of all weeds and stuff up there. So now guys, it's time to go and do the back garden. Alright guys, I just had a little bit of a break and now it's time to crack on with doing this back garden. Too bad. And just like guys, the garden is now done and it really didn't take that long either. So now that's two gardens done and now a little bit of a garden to go. And I must admit this area I've kind of let go for a bit too long now. Look how tall it is up to me guys. <laughs> I'm practically like waist height with this one, look. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to have a little bit of a break and then I'm going to crack on and get this bit done. Guys, I am absolutely shattered. It's now time to sit down, relax, and chill. Wow, guys, this sunrise is very interesting. That area just there, guys, that there is really, really strange. Because it looks like you've got the sun coming up, but then it's like split in half. However, guys, I gotta confess, I am absolutely shattered doing not only the front garden yesterday, the back garden, and then getting rid of all of those weeds. Oh my god, my back is caning today. But unfortunately, I've got to carry on and persevere and work. And uh, to be truthfully honest, I am looking forward to getting today out of the way with. Now, I've got to admit that I woke up this morning with a really, really sore throat, and I don't know why. I don't know, it might be my behaviour playing up, so that's probably why I sound a bit croaky right now. But anyways, we have a on. Hello. <laughs> well, we're just, uh, you know, taking in the nice ambience and the sights at the moment, because sometimes you have to do that, guys. You have to take a second just to go, do you know what? Let's have a look at that. Let's look at this. Let's watch this. You know, because you never know. Hello. You never know, Hello. Um, you know, what you'll miss if you don't open your eyes. But I'd rather be asleep right now. <laughs> wow, guys, I am so pleased to be done with today. I've got a lot of stuff to catch up when I get home. But one thing I am absolutely loving the look of is this weather. And also, what I also like the look of is my Yvonne. How are you doing there? Hello. Are you on Bakery Story? No, I just came off. <gasps> naughty, naughty. Thanks, Green. All right, well, I'm going to chill with Yvonne for a bit and then we're going to make our way home. I tell you this now guys, we just had a bit of a palaver with the bin men. Now, I know it sounds really lame, right? But we're not mind readers, right? I don't know if you are, but I'm definitely not a mind reader, right? And I'm waiting to go, you know, down my street and type of thing. It's like, all I hear is, well, come on then. And I'm like, jeez, how am I supposed to know that you want me to go down that way? Oh. Anyways, we're home now. Time to relax and uh, enjoy the rest of our day. That's what I reckon we're going to do. Oh my oh god, god guys, guys, I am I feeling am so, so friggin', friggin Ill. 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 Now I don't know what I've got, I don't know where I've caught it from, I don't know anything right now, but one thing I know guys is I'm having to leave work early, and I don't like it, I hate it, it feels that I, you know, I'm letting the team down, so to speak. But unfortunately guys, this is where I'm gonna have to love and leave you for this weekly vlog, so I wanna say thank you all for coming by on behalf of me and Yvonne, and it means the world to us, and always guys, do your best. To stay positive and screw all those negatives. I'll see you on the next one. Alright, alright, alright. Goodbye, Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.